I'm sorry we late. We had internet problems. <laughs> Just telling you the truth. It is what it is. It is. It is. All right. So sorry we 15 minutes late. But we here. That's right. <laughs> Don't act like you've never been late. That's what counts. We're here. All right. Could have been Bryson Tiller and um, your girl, her. Z-A-K, Sam Silk, what's up? Line dance uh, Thursday, you'll be able to see Lady Q's line dance, which today we did. What did we do, Q? We did Blurred Lines. All right, Blurred Lines. By Robert Dick. Robert Dick? Robin. All right. Robert. I think she did say Robert. Yeah. I did. <laughs> Who do you think? Who's Robert? Mm. The other brother. <laughs> <laughs> From another mother. All right, so uh, Ray Jr. joined us with that on uh, Instagram. You got to see that. Uh, is Internet Connected where they can see it now? Uh, I'm about to put that up in just a second. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to go outside. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's see if we can help out this person today. What's up? Okay. Dear Sam, I'm going through a divorce, and it's been a little rough for me. A couple of weeks ago, I went out with some coworkers and our boss. We had a great time, but we were turned up, and making a long story short, I ended up sleeping with my boss. Oh, damn. When we went back to work, everything was cool, a little awkward for a bit, but it was good. Uh -huh. Then my boss came to me and said, are we just going to keep pretending nothing happened, or are we going to figure this out? For me, I don't regret what happened, but I don't want to go any further. What do I do? Do I discuss it knowing that I don't want to? If I you do, you don't want to go ahead. Go ahead. If I do discuss it, what do I say? I don't plan to be with him, but it seems like he may have caught feelings. <laughs> Did I just ruin my job? Wow. <laughs> Uh, well, wow. No, I don't think he ruined your job. Just tell him right now. At least he asked the question. A lot of times people don't. That's how stuff end up all ch all choppy because people don't don't uh, ask the question. So he asked the question. Yeah. He, he this wasn't a one night thing to him. It sounds like he wanted to continue to see you, but you tell him, look, I you know it, it happened. You know it was mutual that day, but I don't want to move forward. He just wants to know whether Me Too is coming after him. That's why he wants You think that is? Yeah. yeah. I think so, too. Yeah. Uh -huh. You think it's Me Too? Yes. Yeah. She yeah. wants to know, okay. is she going to human resources on yeah. him? Well, tell exactly. him. Well, ask him. Ask him. Say, hey, uh, what, you worry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But she doesn't sound like, she doesn't sound like that, but she, she still should tell him that. I don't think she should sit around and, you know, I mean, he could get, he could have called Phillips. Maybe. Yeah, she just needs yeah. to be up front. Because what did he ask? What did he exactly ask her? Um, are we just going to keep pretending nothing happened, or are we going to figure this out? Now that sounds like he called Phyllis. That's what that. That's what that sounds like to me. I don't know. Yeah, no, that's what that sounds like. Cause he, yeah, I can't see him doing. I can't see him. You know. Oh, oh we're gonna just act like this didn't happen. But if it's your employee, you want to figure it out. Like, are we cool? We cool? Well, cool? yeah. You cool. Oh, so yeah. what do y'all think, family? We want to hear from you right now. Uh, five seven eight zero nine three one. Do you think he just called feelings? And what should she tell him? She How should. should she tell him? We can talk about it. All right, if you have a slept with your boss, <laughs> male or female, whatever. It's and happened. they called feelings or whatever, but you didn't catch the feelings. How should this lady move forward? How should she move forward? How should she respond to his question? Settled. Yeah, and then her husband, they, maybe they may try to make, maybe trying to get back together. You never know. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Join us for the 12th. Comments, what y'all got to say, family? 888-409-0931. What do you think here? <laughs> what do you think? Now, he said, yep, you just fucked up your job. That's what he did? The end. People Who stopped, said that? Uh, Heath uh, said, uh, the end. People, please stop sleeping with your coworkers. And Jihad said, you just ruined your rep, morals, credibil credibility, How does she ruin that? How does she ruin that? I mean, if, 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 if the dude like her or they're two consenting adults, how does she ruin it? How, because Be if he likes her, uh -huh. if he really does like her, and she's okay. like, yeah. eh, you know, yeah. then that yeah. could be a problem. It could be a big problem. But if she said, I was, I was, I was vulnerable. I was vulnerable that night. 
I well, think you must very, have been too. I think you're a very attractive man. And I'm going through my divorce. And so when you came over to me. <laughs> <laughs> but couldn't that mess with the guy's ego, though, if you actually got with a girl, y'all slept together, and then well, she's like, well, Well, you going, know. going back to what you just said earlier, then he has to, he has to be like, uh, he has to be like, you know, he got to, he got to forget your ego, dude. <laughs> Forget your ego, bro. Yeah. You got to chop that one up. What are you going to do? Stalker? Now you got a problem. Right. Sam Silk Show, hello. Yeah, Sam, I want to comment on that situation there with the Stalker Straight thing. Yeah. Oh, you know me now. So, you know, I'm going to say what you need to do is give him a little heads up again <laughs> and tell him. <laughs> this guy. That it was what it was, but it yeah. just was. That's it. Yeah. You know, keep it warm. Oh, but if I was her for real, yeah. I'd have some kind of paper trail so that he won't play that sexual harassment you know, so he don't. How, he can't worse. play it. He, how he gonna play it? And, and he's the boss. Well, because you just you just asked your own question. He's yeah. the boss. They make it up as they go along. He can he try to say. Oh, you try to say that he would say that she was the aggressor on him. I'm trying to say you never know. <laughs> so you hope for the best and prepare for the worst. That's oh, what I'm trying to say. Oh, she was over here stalking me all day long. All the time, man. It happened to me, man. Remember, we was too sexy for our own good at one time. That's why we got young babies. <laughs> All right, Tony. All right, Tony. Later. All right. Well, I mean, you know, maybe he could turn that thing around. Uh, Who? Yeah. Was the guy? Tony thinking that he could turn the thing around and try to say she was trying to be the aggressor. I don't well, see Well, he's that. the boss. He's the boss. So how could he, she be the aggressor? Yeah. All right. More comments. Come on. Come on. All right. Um, Joyette said, start looking for another job. Keep business and pleasure separate going forward. Good luck. Yeah. And uh, she, she, and Renee <laughs> that, said, yeah. said, old boy was already feeling you prior to your night together. This is a very sticky situation. Yeah. At this point, tell him the truth. You had a great time and all, but and you're going through a divorce yeah. and you're not ready to start a new relationship. And if he's real, he should understand that. We, then if, understand. You, if he don't understand that, then that's a big problem on his end. Right. Not really hers. Because because what? he's the aggressor and he's using that to, he's using it against her, and she's gonna retaliate. But oh, I don't not know. Not going to HR. It's rough because she's not interested in the guy. If she was you know. interested, then so so he was just a rebound that night booty. Yeah, exactly. yeah. and that happens. She had but a little she drink. can tell him. How come she can't tell him? Because. He caught feelings, and she so thinking what? He might lose her. She might lose her job as a result of yeah, it. Yeah, she gotta tell him. Everybody's like, update your resume. Right. Exactly. She's going to lose her job. They said, update your resume. Yeah, because yeah. she's going to lose her job. And then uh, she's going to retaliate by going to HR and said, this is the reason why he got rid of me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, LaTanya said, you may as well update your resume and start looking for another job. He already had feelings for you, and now you're about to hurt them. You know men have fragile egos. This isn't going to go well. And stop being reckless. You don't um, poop where you eat. <laughs> Is that, what they, is that what they really said? Well, they didn't say poop. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> but it's true. Yeah. Definitely. Ooh, yeah. That It's rough because I think he's feeling like, okay, you're divorced now. We you got can be together. my woman. Yeah, we can. Dude and call feelings. He didn't call feelings. He probably but already so who, had him. Exactly. Like someone said, he already had feelings. Yeah. And then and then y'all was all hanging out. So it was a group of them that went out? That's, that's, yeah, the yeah. whole group. Okay. So why did he get get her? Yeah. So the whole group went out and both of y'all hooked up. You she saw him attractive too now. Of course. But not to be with long term. Not exactly. No. Yeah. Julia said, Wow, all I have to say about this is all I could say is hope you learned a lesson about excessive drinking. The rest is all you about how to get out of that one. So, okay, so let me, let's go back over this letter. Yes. All right. So she's going through a divorce. Mm hmm And it's been a little rough one for yeah. her divorce. She says, and a couple of weeks ago, she went out with some coworkers and their boss. We had a great time. But we were turned up and making a long story short, I ended up sleeping with my boss. Mm-hmm. When we got back to work, everything was cool. A little awkward for a bit, but it was good. Everything was cool. 
I'm really trying to read into this. Then my boss, basically what she said, then my boss interrupted the whole thing and brought it all up again. <laughs> are, we just, about it. are we just going to pretend that nothing happened or are we going to figure this out? For me, I don't regret what happened, but I don't want to go any further. Mm. Right there, you got to tell him. Right there. He, he wants to be with you. He thought, man, he was the one. <laughs> she, she put that breakup booty on him and you right. know, he's what do now. I say how do I plan to be with him I, mean, I don't plan to be with him but it seems like he may have caught feelings mm. he caught a whole lot of feelings he had them a long time ago and that night there especially especially if y'all really got down down Oh, she got she down. down. She got she down. She ain't had nothing in a while. She got down. <laughs> Y'all crazy. She did. She, crazy. she put it on her. Y'all crazy. Yeah. Right. She That's what happened? Him. Oh, yeah. She was she was feeling no pain either. Oh, yeah. She put it on him. She didn't forget. So y'all agree she, she needs to look for another gig and just get out of there? Right. Yeah. Y'all think, so y'all think she really, I don't think, I think she, she need to just tell him. Yeah, right now. She needs to tell him. She's going to hurt his feelings either so way. So what? Mm-mm. It he, is he, what he it is. Boy. You can handle it. Yeah. I mean, I agree with he's, everybody else. You just update your he, resume. Like, listen, if he's stupid, he's stupid. If, if he does something stupid to her to just start stalking her or to penalize her because she won't be with him, he's the dummy. He's exactly. She'll be fine. I think so too, Sam. She'll be fine. All she got to do is say, look. He got rid of me because I refused to sleep with him. Yeah, that's it. But now it's going to be awkward because if they do but, like but, office functions again, she's going to she, be like, oh. But, but that's okay. They was two grown consenting adults. They both decided. To yeah, but hold on, fine. hold on. But because because this was this was off. This wouldn't. This was not at work. Exactly. But it can be brought back to work. Yeah, and then both of them. Because you got to look at the the way stuff is not. It's not a one. It's not a one person. Exactly. If she willingly slept with this man. Okay, mm-hmm. and she go knocking on the door, and he go knocking on the door. They gonna say goodbye to both, not goodbye to one. Really? What? I didn't know that. Yeah, wow. it can do, yeah, because you, I, you, I thought the one who got the most money. I thought the one who had the power yeah, was right, the like one him. that goes. Yeah, but but and both of his company. But well, that's a different story. But if she's sitting around here, and you know, I think she should tell him how it is, and if he turns around and go do whatever. Then you then you got a big problem. Tell him you don't want to talk to him in that way no more. Say, you know, hey, it happened, it happened. What's the, what's wrong with that? Mm-hmm. Why you can't say that? I, what's, what's the big deal? Okay, you must men not have said, seen. Men, men say it all the time that way, and it's okay. Uh huh. And women it's okay. Find that, it'd no, be okay. For some women, women, it's not okay. Women is not. <laughs> that's true. That's women true. is not okay. Dun, dun, dun. Right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> That <laughs> <laughs> head be spinning around, yeah. The no. assistant jumped in. Right. <laughs> what do you mean you don't want this booty anymore? What do you mean? She messed up. You messed up. He girl. messed the way y'all keep trying to put it on her. I think they because both because she's the gonna line. suffer. She's gonna she's suffer. She's just for in the lower position. That clown is going to suffer. I don't know what y'all are talking about. Well, I think that's why he kind of wants to know, like, okay, do okay. I have a little sex buddy? Ch- check your feelings. Well, he might want to know. He might be horny again. He might want to yeah, know, do I have a sex buddy? Are we well, going to go? Are you up part two? Because if it was that, right. it, now this, he, don't want, this now, he wants a relationship. Because if he was wondering if he had another a, a buddy, he will wait till the next opportunity. When they are all hanging out freely again. And something jumps off. This dude was sitting over here peeping her all this time. And then they all sliding her drinks. Right, right, right. Hey, right, 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 right. Hey. Let me get you hey. a, let me get you a double. Hey, hey it's, it's, it's Friday. Drink. Let's go out. Right. Hey, hey. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. this clown, this this ain't gonna call him a clown, but this dude, this dude and got got feel. He had feelings. Okay. So you need to tell him. He had feelings before. Before. Oh, okay. Well, we both agree on that one. He yeah. definitely had feelings before. And like you said, I believe that too. He might have kept pushing drinks or what. Yep. But guys, guys are crazy these days too. Did you what you mean you ain't gonna be with me? What did you see the guy <laughs> who I don't believe in a one night stand? Come here. <laughs> there was a guy who stabbed a woman. He was flirting with women coming out of Whole Foods and what? she turned him down and he followed her to her car and stabbed her in the hand. Yeah, he was crazy, period. Yeah, he was crazy. He, uh, he, he already was had already a mental. Crazy. He said he was tired of being rejected. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, okay. 
The what guy who did? threw the guy who threw the little boy over um, the balcony at Mall of America, the five year old. Yeah. He did that. He said he had been at the mall flirting with women and he kept getting rejected. Those and so are that's what he did. Those are what you call mentally ill people. Yeah. It's a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah, they're unstable. Yeah, so I don't think this guy will last as long, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we don't have more comments. Well, yeah. we got to read everybody comments. All right. Well, majority. Tiffany said, just be honest and hope for the best. Yeah. He should understand you're not in a position to date. Uh, did I already do this one? Uh, he, that you're not in a position to date uh, because of the divorce process. Also, he's the only one in jeopardy with his job because he would be fired for sleeping with someone he supervised over. Yeah. And what, what you worried about? He, if he tries to bully you or fire you after sex, I'm pretty sure that's super illegal. Yeah. Exactly. Not unless it's his company. Well, that don't mean nothing. Yeah, it does. But what if he talks well, to I all the guys he... in the job? Yeah, you know, I did this and whatever. He's an idiot. You have, right. What's the word? Well, idiot? Exactly. Yeah. He's an idiot. <laughs> but it still, you know, tarnishes her professional reputation. And it tarnishes his. He is too. It don't tarnish it's gonna, one. It's going to go both ways. It, that's what I'm trying to tell you. It's going to go both ways. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Unless she was doing something crazy. She's but cool. she don't even know what she did. She cool. Yeah. Just tell him. Now, if he wants to be the dummy, be the dummy. She all right. She got her job. Mm -hmm. What you worried about it for? You good. He the clown. Okay. Send an email. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was wondering if we could. Uh, He's an email. email right? Yeah. So, so, so the way, the, so the way that is done. If, if, if you, you can, you can approach somebody. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, me and you work together. Mm -hmm. I can approach and actually ask you out. Yeah. That's okay, right? Right. Now, let's say your response is what? No. Mm -hmm. Then that's the end of conversation. Supposedly. I ask you out again. Now that's now that's now harassing. I'm harassing. Yeah. Oh, is that the way it looked at? That's yeah. the way it is. I didn't know that. Yes. Mm. That's how it is. That's What's right. That? Now, you can go that. out. You can go out if you want to. That's harassing, period, whether you work together or not. If you approach someone mm -hmm. and you ask them to go out and they don't want to, and then you keep on doing it. It's called harassment. Yeah, but I didn't think twice it would be called considered harassment. Well, and I thought multiple times. Well, two or three, yes. Oh, that, that's so you think there's a couple in the few. So you think she has nothing to worry no, about? No, she has nothing to worry about. I don't think she has nothing unless to worry about. unless he starts acting a fool. But if he acts a fool, she cool. She'll still be embarrassed at work, though. Okay, that's you'd be okay, embarrassed, but that, but you, you still you still willingly went and slept with him. It's right. not like right. you didn't that's want to. So you that's on you being embarrassed is really a, your decision to do what you did. You decided that you wanted you made an adult decision to exactly. sleep with him. That's what you did. And you know all the ladies at the job and then, don't hold be on. like. Mm. And she, let's not she, and she let's she not even it. let's not even say it's just them. You have people. You got witnesses on how you all was acting, acting together. All that's right. Yeah, hold on. Great song, man. It's called Something Keeps Calling. That is uh, Raphael Sadiq, 931 WZAK, the Sam Soup Show. Wrapping up reality hour, real people, real life situations. Some of those comments coming in if you just tuned in. So she's uh, going through a divorce. Um, tough time for her. They go out, her, her boss, and co workers all hanging out, having some drinks. Her and the boss dips off and finish the night together. Finished. Come back to work. Now she's feeling a little awkward. And, and everything's fine. She doesn't feel bad, but a little awkward because, oh, I slept with my boss. Right. He's like, are we going to act like this never happened? <laughs> hey, how are you? <laughs> Seems like he has caught feelings. She don't want to go out with him anymore. What should I do? You tell him. That's what you do. You tell him you don't want to go out with him anymore. Just be honest. Well, you really didn't even go out with him anymore. You went out with a group of folk, and then y'all got together. Mm -hmm. You did your thing. But you tell him, be honest, say, hey, you know what? I'm going through this divorce, and uh, I was vulnerable, um, and uh, 
I like you. I was attracted to you, but I don't like you like that. I'm really not into you like that, you know, but I don't want to move forward. And then get your resume together. <sighs> yeah. And if, and if you have to get your resume together, then he's on some sucker stuff. <laughs> Period. Period. Sucker. And if he's smart, he ain't going that route. I don't think he will. Dude in cough That's what, hope. That's what you, she put that. She put it on him. You say she, she put, put the whip of pills? She put it on him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this divorce. I need somebody to know. Right. Oh, oh this is a few drugs. And then he's been watching her for two years. Oh, girl. Slider <laughs> doubles and triples. What else you want, girl? Yeah, from tell the you're a grown woman. Yeah. You tell that man Everything. how it is. Period. <laughs> Coming up next, man. Get ready for Silk's karaoke. We got some great tickets for you on the other side. Z.A.K.